Greetings, boys and girls. Welcome back to the channel. How y'all doing today? I'm doing a little bad, but that's besides the point. Today, we're going to be talking about the one and only Peluchine Entertainment. He is back on YouTube. What a fucking disaster, if I have to say so myself. He's back on YouTube. He's still monetized. Holy hell, what's going on with YouTube? What are you guys doing? Am I going to get demonetized for saying fuck in this video? I don't know, but let's, let's get on with the show. So, Peluchine Entertainment, aka Matias, whatever his last name is, uploaded a lot of videos to his channel, and I'm going to go over one in particular, and if you don't know who uh, Matias is or who Peluchine is, I covered him previously on my channel, I have a whole series, I guess you could say, about him. He uh, essentially killed some cats on camera, little kittens, poor little innocent kittens, and he beat the shit out of his other cat, uh, Jason Kruger, and yeah, not a really good, no, 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 he's fucked up in the head. So, he's back, and he's got some shit to say. So, he uploaded a video about him being in the crazy house, you know, the loony house, you know, with the crazy ass. And he's got some shit to say, so... I might play some clips in between here and there, probably not, though. But I heard the whole thing, and I'm gonna give you kind of an abridged, uh, version of it, so you can kind of understand what he said through it. Until then, you know, uh, listen to this, until they make a, uh, subtitled version of that video. Well, I'll make it. I probably won't make it, and I probably don't want to make it, but yeah, that's besides the point. So, he starts off the video about him being self-conscious about his fat, um, how he's not fat, how people have been calling him fat. I mean, he does look a little chunky, you know, probably did gain some pounds. So, uh, fat shaming him, I don't know, maybe we are, but, you know, I, I, th I think he kind of deserves to be fat shamed after what he's did. So, uh, he's being self-conscious about his weight. Uh, here's an idea, pimp. Go get some Wendy's chili. Wings of Redemption knows a lot about that. So there you go. There you go. Go gain some pounds, man. Be nice and fat for us, you know, so we can get you like a pig. All right. So then he says he escaped from the crazy house, from the loony bin, from the psychiatric ward, I guess you could say. He legit escaped there. And apparently he kind of went into the forest. Yeah, not the video game, but an actual forest that's by the asylum or the psychiatric ward, I guess. Not really sure what to call this because in a... In Spanish, it's manicomio, so I'm not really sure if it's more like an insane asylum or a uh, psychiatric ward. Probably a mixture of the two, but yeah, I'm going to use those two terms interchangeably, you know? So yeah, there you go. He went into the forest and he hid out there, but he got found by some cops. So that little escape attempt didn't really fare out well for him from what I uh, understood in the video. So, you know, obviously he's missing mommy and daddy and he wants to go back into the civilized world. And he uh, left to the forest, but all got caught by the cops, so... Yeah, uh, zero for Polichine, one for the, uh, uh, where is he from? The the Honduran Police Department, right? Good on those guys, keeping the streets safe once again. He also w goes on to talk about how he met some really crazy demented dude who really had a really fucked up mind and how he really is crazy and how he should really be in the uh, psych ward. Apparently this guy was into hardcore drugs like narcotics, stuff like that, you know, methamphetamine, meth stuff of that nature and apparently while this dude was you know high off his balls of whatever drug he was taking pcp or whatever he killed the lady on the street and that's why he was in there and from what you can tell in the video uh mr pelochine seems to be a little uh, phased from that experience with that guy and how he uh said that the guy was scary and really demented and how he really he really should be in there because he is really fucking crazy well you know here's an idea uh <laughs> stop killing little cats and abusing animals and you wouldn't be in that situation, would you? So there you go. And stop choking little kids too. And stop harassing people in bathrooms. Maybe if you didn't do any of that shit, you wouldn't be going through that, you know? So hey, that's just food for thought. You know, that's just some of my advice to him, but whatever. He also brings up how he had nightmares about some cats that he adopted, which is hilarious, I think, in my opinion, you know? The cats are finally getting their revenge on this fucking bastard. They're in his dreams, they're fucking with him. He had some nightmares, and he couldn't really sleep, apparently, because of those nightmares about those cats for a couple days. And he was uh, saying how he was, you know, he was really desperate to see his mom and dad, how he was, you know, kind of like on the verge of kind of tears, kind of. How he really didn't like it there, how it was very uh, somber, very sad, being alone by himself, not knowing everybody in there with a bunch of crazies. And to be honest, you know, um, he's a crazy one himself, so he fits right in into the uh, populace right there, so... I don't know why he feels so out of place. He fits right in there. He's all with all the crazies, with the abusers, with the meth heads. So, uh, 
don't know why he's uh complaining about anything you know so not sure he also talks about this guy okay this is the funniest part this is the funniest part i think in my opinion talks about how he made a new friend there that he was really really cool with him really chill with him that he really helped him out and he uh says that you know he would touch him or something along those lines and how he almost tried to kiss him once so yeah i don't know i don't know Pelicina. I, I don't know if this guy wants to be your friend or if he's trying to rape you secretly so yeah, Pelicina, uh, prime real estate in the psych ward for someone. So, yeah, he made a friend there. Um, definitely going to give him some chon chon later on, maybe. Not, not really sure about that, but hey, you, you never know. These friendships, they blossom in prison, right? They, uh, love can bloom on the battlefield, so it can definitely bloom in the psych ward. So he made a new friend that he uh, got along with a little bit too well, if you ask me. Then he goes on to say uh, Christmas time was very bad for his parents and his family. They were very sad uh, due to the fact that he... Had, he's a fuck up and he's an idiot and he's in the psych ward for the shit that he did and honestly you know hey that's normal you know if uh one of your family member fucked up that bad yeah you'd probably be crying too or being very sad so feel sorry for his family but at the same time uh i kind of don't because i think the parents should have been more uh, well aware of what the hell he was doing and what he was doing online so in that aspect i am a little bit uh you know not compassionate to the parents but at the same time yeah it is their son he is in a psych ward he is being fucked up from all angles from online people and from other irl places so that's on him you know he did his shit so sorry for the parents but that's all due to him he got himself into the situation he goes on to uh talk about how he's very sleepy due to the medication they gave him i suppose that the medication they give you at the psych ward is to numb you down and make you a, a robot you know make you a, a vegetable so you don't really get into any fights or be any be, uh, be any disturbances you know stuff like that so he constantly complained about being sleepy how it was a very slow week for him and how <clears throat> excuse me and how he was scared of his surroundings how he was scared of the strangers all around him and how he didn't want to be there how he didn't belong he didn't deserve to be there how he didn't belong there he, with all those crazy crazy people around him now granted i do think there was some crazier people than him in the uh in the uh, psych ward but uh to be fair he kind of belongs there he he kind of does we all know he's no he's not good in the head he is not good at all he needs some help and is that the best place to put him i don't know but i think it is i think it is so he was bitching about that for a long time then he told uh the audience how uh oh excuse me again i ate a little bit too much he told the audience how this crazy girl came up to him and was threatening threatening him saying oh i'm gonna kill you why would you kill those little cats so yeah even the people in the psych ward know about the shit that he did and they weren't really a fan of what he did so that crazy girl was up to uh you know kind of kill him and kind of you know gave him the bird apparently when his parents came to visit him so yeah already pillaging making even more friends in uh the psych ward I, I can only imagine what would happen if he was in prison right you know go talk to fps kyle he, he might be able to help you out right professional russian so he had that girl to contend with and, and i always want to say prison but he's not in prison yet he's uh he's what do you call it the psych ward right uh, i think reset though he went to prison so whoa crazy shit there now he also met another guy i think that uh he also asked him hey why would you hurt cats like what the hell's wrong with you why would you hurt a little cat and that guy threw in to beat the shit out of him too so that's hilarious too another person trying to fuck him up I, I don't think he realizes, you know, what he's doing is wrong, that hurting a cat is going to get some negative reactions from anybody. And it doesn't matter if it's like a cokehead, someone who killed somebody. You kill the little cat, they're going to be on your on, on your case. They're not going to like you. Then he talked about how his roommate uh, didn't like him either because of the whole, you know, killing the cat situation and how he uh, tore up a bag that he had. I think it might have been a backpack of, of some sort. And he threw, like, apples on the wall or something along those lines and how he really was kind of scared of him and how he didn't get along with him and how uh, he wanted to fight another uh i want to say inmate but you know they're not in jail i want how he wanted to fight another patient but a lady one of the i guess you can say like psych ward nurses stepped in to stop the other guy from hitting the other guy so yeah it seems like pulachin had some fun in the psychiatric ward right a lot of nice stories from him this time of year you know he still looks batshit crazy he still has got that crazy look in his eyes uh he seems happy as hell to be away from uh, the psych ward, which honestly, I think anyone would be at that point. I mean, who wants to spend time in the psych ward out of all places? So, in that regard, he's out right now. He's back at his house and he has internet access 
once again. And I am still amazed that uh, Team YouTube hasn't done anything to take down his channel for... But it seems to be like they don't just give a shit about this anymore, you know? Like, uh, animal abuse is a federal crime now, I think. Uh, Donald Trump just signed a uh, new bill or law that made it a federal crime now. You can do some serious fucking time in jail now for uh, animal abuse. So, yeah, honestly, uh, I know he's from... Uh, where is it? Honduras, I think? I, I forget where he's from. My bad, my bad. But, um... If this were to happen in the States, yeah, you bitch your ass, his ass would be in jail. And you bet your ass, he get it even harder from all angles. But I think one of the main factors is that I think Peluchin is more of an isolated incident uh, when it comes to the online community. I think the majority of people who talk about Peluchin are not English-speaking YouTube channels. I think it's more of the Spanish-speaking oriented channels. And I think that's one of the major problems here is that we're not getting this guy uh, enough exposure. Now, I know that sounds dumb, right? Why would you want to give this guy more exposure? Well, in order to get some of the bigger channels to cover him, that lets other people see what type of a piece of shit this guy is and you know they can go give him hate and report his videos and stuff of that sort right so in that aspect it kind of works out to make him a little bit famous if you know what i mean um i think if someone like keemstar were to cover this video i think that it would be amazing uh keemstar i think has a lot of clout in the community has a lot of viewership so i think maybe he could get a direct feed to team youtube since he's one of the bigger channels and he may be able to do something about this but uh until then, Peluchini Entertainment is back on YouTube. He's back. His channel's back up again. Um, he uploaded a lot of new videos. He uploaded this shitty How to Basic Ripoff video. So yeah, go check that out if you want to see how to make scrambled eggs, according to uh, Peluchini Entertainment. But what do you guys think of uh, Peluchini's little psychiatric escape? Let me know in the comment section down below. Also, guys, make sure to check out some of my other videos. I just did a boxing breakdown. If you're a boxing fan, go check that out. Big drama show. Thanks for watching, everybody. As always... I'll catch you guys later.